Will you keep your promise regarding Genshin? Yeah, I'm going to play it. Bro, this is single player gotcha game. People pay real money to beat the CPU. Here's why. The girls are hot. We're going to take a look at it. Why Genshin Impact is an artistic and technical masterpiece. I'm going to be real. They spent $100 million a year on this fucking game. It better be an artistic and technical masterpiece. That's a lot of money. When was the first time a video game truly... Just when I was the first time a video game truly the made you say, now. wow? Maybe it was walking out of the vault for the first time in Fallout 3. Or I would say the vault in Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I would also say uh, Elden Ring. Like the Nakud City, the Eternal City. And you go down that shit and you're like, what the fuck? Or Landell. Or um, uh, Dark Souls. Pro I, I would say... That, like. The weird thing with Dark Souls is like the wow moment whenever I beat Dark Souls happened when I beat the game and the credits rolled. I said, what the fuck? That was crazy. Yeah, I feel like there have been a number of good wow moments in games recently. And Orlando, yeah, yeah. After those fucking, those little dick boys crawl you over there or fly you over there. Or maybe it was watching the first Colossus pass you by in Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah. But for me, it was the first time I saw the world of Genshin. I'm going to be honest, too. I actually think Brel Shaza Gate 6 was a wow moment fight. And so was Valton Gate 2. I actually think that those, those fights are S tier on a level that no other MMO is actually above. There are fights that are equivalent to that, like Mythic Gul'dan. But I don't think there's anything that is like objectively just better. An impact. It's so good. Any wow moments of wow? Yeah, mythical damn. That was fucking badass. Ragnaros, heroic, but and phase why four is it so gets up. Anyway, what's going on behind the scenes here? A lot How of does money. Genshin Impact manage to combine real life influences with an incredibly convincing 3D anime art style and create something so I see why it's popular. And fresh? The perfectly executed anime art style is a big reason why so many players like myself have developed an unbending loyalty to this game, and it's this exact art style that I want to dissect today. Without further ado, let's explore the art of Genshin Impact. I know somebody in chat goes and says comparing masterpieces to Genshin. The reality is that I bet Genshin is a masterpiece. I bet, honestly... The graphic and the style, the graphics and the style of this game and the way that it plays is probably fucking perfect for what it is. Now, now it might not be what you want. The universe of Genshin Impact but that's was fine. created with an outstanding amount of attention to detail mm -hmm. upon an intricate framework that contains a surprising amount of reference to the real world. We'll get into that in a bit. Genshin's universe is split between seven factions, each corresponding that's to a dude, an element. By the way. I didn't These know include that. the four dude. elements considered by I the think. Western cultures as the pillars of the earth, mm -hmm. along with other elements derived from Eastern traditions. Each elemental domain has a god, or archon, presiding over them, with their names along with many others directly okay. lifted from Ars Goetia, a pagan grimoire. Even the twins' names, the two possible characters a player can they choose at one the of beginning the of the game, are clever wordplay meant to represent yin and yang energies and the polarity between heaven and earth. Huh. Combining different elements of ancient religions, Gnosticism... Man, that's a difference in, in uh, the way it's designed. You know, like, that's a, you know, like, damn, they changed that, they changed your character model up a lot. Just a bit? Yeah, yeah. ...and Eastern schools of thought, Genshin Impact became a sampling platter for many profound concepts. What makes this game so great is that its boundless wisdom was neatly packaged into a format that makes it fun and visually cool. appealing. And it's easy to understand why this title became so successful in such a short amount of time. Oh, really when you nice. consider that these players like, were also famous. I'm not so successful in like that's what I'm saying this shit that looks really good just objectively like for the art style that they're trying to go with that's fucking amazing man that looks so good such a short amount of time when you consider that these players 
we're also faced with a unique gaming experience on top of the stunning visuals. The vast open world invites careful exploration, and the intricate storylines honestly kept me glued to my screen for longer than I'd like to admit. Yeah. In an interview by Pocket Gamer, Miho my plan with the game is whenever I play this shit, I'm actually going to play through the whole story. I'm going to play through the whole story, play through the whole game. I'm going to do it like I did Final Fantasy. Koyo's president, Forrest Wei Liu, mentioned that the team's love for Japanese entertainment was the bedrock for creating this game. Although the vast majority of the group, comprising of more than 400 people, were of Chinese descent. Now, this is really interesting to me, since most of the in-game scenes could easily be mistaken for authentic Ghibli movies. An overwhelming number of players also noticed the resemblance to the beloved Breath of the Wild, and Wei Liu confirmed that the cel-shaded Zelda installment was, in fact, a heavy inspiration for Genshin Impact. Yeah, of course. Players can even win a weapon called the Skyward Blade through the Wish System. However, I am here to say that Genshin Impact Not is the a Skyward lot Sword. more than just a Breath of the Wild knockoff, as it draws inspiration from various games. I think what happened is like it originally was kind of a Breath of the Wild knockoff, and then after a while, it kind of grew its own legs, and it's 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 its own thing now. It's like it might have started like that, but it's not anymore. Than game mechanics, including previous MiHoYo games such as Honkai Impact Third, and uh -huh. yet with the visuals being so Honker heavily Impact. inspired by existing styles, Genshin Impact has still managed to carve out its own unique artistic identity. To achieve this, the studio used the beloved anime style as a stepping stone and defined the game's visual character through a plethora of cultural motifs anchored in real life. Every location of this game was carefully created to reflect real life places. The characters, both playable and non-playable, were designed to fit within a cultural background that players all around the world can relate to. There's no fat people in this game, so I don't know how Americans can play this shit. I've never seen a single fat person in Genshin Impact. There is? Okay. <laughs> all right, never mind. I think this is a perfect time to look into the environment <laughs> design the of Genshin Impact. As a horrible artist myself, much of this game's appeal stems from the gorgeous scenery. I actually have a course that teaches you how to create beautiful environments yeah. like this using Unreal Engine and Blender, so make sure to check out that link in the description. Cool. When designing the world of Genshin Impact, MiHoYo's art department had two things in mind. To develop certain styles that perfectly match the essence of each faction, and making sure to communicate that aesthetic effectively. Now, Genshin Impact was built entirely on a customized version of Unity due to its extensive multi-platform support. Two different render pipelines were put in place, which is quite a strange practice to see for a game like this. However, given the heavily stylized nature of this game, the studio saw it fit to employ two separate pipelines. Okay. A PBR pipeline for the environments and a cel-shaded hand-painted pipeline for the characters. That makes sense, right? Because like you want to have those characters, you, you, they need to be hot as fuck because like that's what's going to get people to spend money. Because like, you have a new character comes out that's what's gonna yeah on god true absolutely yeah they gotta they gotta make those characters just right we're going to get into both of those eventually through this video the first region a player gets to explore is the Animo Nation, which corresponds to the wind element the Animo Nation resides in the city of freedom wrong called in, uh, Mondstadt in German the name translates to Moon City and is heavily inspired by Germanic architecture the half-timbered houses are reminiscing of medieval German constructions, with their similarity becoming really striking when compared to the houses of the German town, Miltenburg. Damn, that place looks fucking nuts. Holy shit. And people live in there? They have, like, internet and shit there too, right? I would always be worried if I lived in a place like this, that, like, the there wouldn't be, like, running water. But the, the reality is, I bet there's probably more, like, conveniences, and the Wi-Fi is probably better here than where I live. I don't know how that happens. Like, Nick can go over to Norway in the middle of a fucking rainstorm and have 1080p streams, but he's downtown in Austin getting disconnected. The city of Mondstadt was built in an oval shape in the center of a lake, which seems to have been inspired by Bern, the capital of Switzerland. In the center of Mondstadt is a giant awe-inducing cathedral, which was most likely inspired by the Grand Cathedral. That's interesting to call it Bern because, you know, that was actually the name of the Lost Ark city of Vern in the Korean version. And Vern also has a cathedral that looks similar to this 
And so maybe the Lost Ark City is also derivative of the same thing. Cathedral Look at that. Regensburg. Regensburg? Regensburg. For the environment design itself, the render pipeline takes into account the day and night cycle, weather conditions, mm -hmm. as well as the complexity of the environment. Okay. All throughout Tevyat, you won't find a single baked light source. All of the lights and environments are dynamic, no, the burn, including no the refunds. local ones that contribute to both direct and indirect lighting in the proximity of the player camera. That's With Genshin dumb. Impact, the beauty really is in the details. The use of dynamic shadows all across the game enhance the three-dimensional feel of Tevyat. When players walk under a tree, the leaves cast shadows onto their bodies. Volumetric fog of different densities in certain regions or time of day periods come into contact with the local lighting, enriching the atmosphere and creating a unique experience at each part of the day in each different location. That's cool. Speaking of volumetrics, I'd love to take a second to point out Genshin Impact's incredible cloud volumetric system. Typically games will use 2D images of clouds in the background to fake them. Yeah, I don't know, can we think of a game like that? that just, you know, puts some fucking white shit up in the air and they say, hey, that's a cloud. But Genshin Impact has physical, dynamic clouds that move, shift forms, and react to light, casting shadows on the ground below. I'll be diving into these techniques in more detail in my new upcoming series, Game Ready. Can you get so on top of that mountain? That. Objects blocking the sun or moonlight create these beautiful god ray effects. Coupled with the expert terrain nice. blending and post effect shaders such as bloom and color remapping, the end result is stunning imagery that could trick most eyes into believing that this scene is actually 2D artwork. Yeah, I think that looks good. It looks great. Now, as we go past the walls of Vonstadt, we're met with high mountains and green pastures spreading yeah. for miles, which makes the outer area look a lot like the Monsi area of Austria, which for record is also known as Moon Lake. It's a fun little detail. That's a nice place. I like to live in a place like this, man. Like I used to live in a place with like woods and shit, and now I live in a place with like apartments and shit. This sucks. Well, I found. Special attention was given to the grass of yeah, Genshin Impact move. in order to achieve the painterly Other look moved. of the terrain. To the me. studio modeled and textured a variety of grass concept motifs. These were then given randomized densities, sides, orientations, and multiple sets of grass LODs were Damn, grouped together, and simplified versions were prepared for each set to mm -hmm. keep things nice and optimized. Cliffs and mountains also occupy a big portion of most scenes in this game. Yeah, to maintain cool. a stylized, consistent look, the studio tried to retain some of the brushstroke effects. The texture applied to rocks comprised eight different layers, and each of them had three different versions to account for detailed differences seen at specific distances. Oh my the hand-painted layers are actually fully procedural and use a lot of cool color blurring and blending techniques to get the desired look. I go over this technique extensively in my stylized texturing course, and I'll leave a link in the description for that one too. That's Genshin nice. Impact features hundreds of different models of trees, bushes, and other foliage. The team had to employ several shading tricks to make them blend seamlessly into the environment while retaining some of the details. They used I would say that's kind of impressive how they have, I'm gonna just go back real quick. Well, they got Mr. Squirrel here, and his, uh, the, the shadow is on each individual blade of grass. Isn't that nuts? Wow, it's not, no, it's not a cat, guys. Come on, what are y'all, stupid? They use spherical models for the leaves, along with a technique relying on the angle of the player's camera to clip individual leaves out of the render. Damn. The specular and shadows between the leaves were then weakened, and a minimal level of lighting was set to prevent the shadows from looking too dark, which is essential in this painterly Ghibli style. If you look closely enough at the trees, you'll also notice some subsurface scattering on the leaves of the trees. Maybe and like, look at her boobs too. I didn't notice the leaves at all, but look at this. If you look closely enough at the trees, you'll also notice some subsurface scattering on the leaves of the trees. Bro, there's like more physics in like one of these characters' boobs than there is in like all of a World of Warcraft raid. Making an effect we see in real life, like the whole thing. where light creates a rim effect on the edges of leaves if sunlight shines through at the right angle. If you venture further into the wilderness on a mercantile route, you'll soon find yourself before a natural landmark called the Stone Gate. From here, the scenery gradually shifts, and the architecture, along with the path, slowly reveals the motifs of a new region, Liyue. 
Governed by the god of Geo, an element corresponding to Earth, the nation of Liyue resides in a very lively commercial harbor. This is one of That's my favorite cool. environments in the entire game. The architecture of the like city was heavily Final inspired Fantasy. by ancient China, featuring warm there. color That's palettes, that, uh, clay shingled rooftops, and puzzle. stilted houses. For a team of Chinese developers, it was paramount to bring Liyue to a level of perfection as yeah, to reflect course. the gentle yet imposing booty... <laughs> booty? <laughs> as to reflect the gentle the yet imposing the beauty of their own hometowns. Seas of reeds embellish the terrain close to bodies of water, dancing with each gentle breeze. Inspired by the delicate balance of content and empty space which characterizes Chinese Shanxi landscape paintings, the team built an array of peaks and stone forests as a backdrop for prominent landmarks. Okay. The soothing scenery brought forward the name of the first piece of architecture we see in Liyue, the Wangshu Inn. Its design drew from the Wangkong Temple, built into a cliff near Mount Hang in China. The environment That's art cool. team for MiHoYo mentioned how important it was for them to represent Chinese characteristics in front of a global player base. To achieve this, they compare. Yeah, that's the thing is like you don't really see a lot of uh, uh, of that. That's why I'm excited to see that Wukong game, because like like obviously is you know Dragon Ball Z is based off of that, so like you kind of have an idea of it, but. I feel like it's like kind of underrepresented as like a myth as a mythology that like people are aware of or around here in the U.S. at least. Various landmarks and pieces of Chinese culture, and finally selected the area of Zhang Jiaji as one of the main sources of inspiration. That's so I am badass. so sorry for butchering all of these Chinese words. Yeah, I couldn't do any better. Version 2.0 brought players the third large-scale oh region God. open to exploration. Look at that. Centered around the element Electro, the theme for Inazuma was Eternity, a beautiful contrast to the short lifespan of lightning. Inspired by Japan, the region is located in the easternmost part of Tevyat, in a group of islands accessible only via the ocean. Whoa. The vast landscape is dotted with painterly sakura blossoms and high mountain peaks preside over the backdrop. Yeah, Grand Narukami really nice. Shrine, the region's largest, closely resembles traditional Japanese places of worship. Players get to walk through imposing Tory gates and cleanse their hands on purification traps. Lion-like okay. statues resembling Japanese komainu act like shrine guardians, and fan, lotus, and cherry blossom imagery can be found all throughout Inazuma. The region's very name comes from Inazuma, which means lightning in Japanese. These elements blend beautifully with an encompassing anime art style, creating a unique, almost austere atmosphere. Mihoyo put a lot of effort into making Inazuma a dream world for any anime fan out there, and I really believe they nailed it. Genshin Impact managed to beautifully balance the heavily stylized look with real-world architectural influences, but there's another layer to the design of Tevyat that makes the game environments truly unique. The seven elements serve multiple purposes for the game mechanics, but they also influence the design quite heavily as well. Affiliation to the elements is present in every design choice, from the intricate costume design to VFX to the architecture itself. Mondstadt, the city of wind that we talked about earlier, is built on many different elevation levels with plenty of staircases, allowing its inhabitants- Isn't there like one of the characters that like her lore is that a monster tried to eat her, but her ass was so fat that the monster choked to death and it died and she escaped? Yeah. Yeah, so that that's the kind of game. Yeah. Holy moly, that's a great plot. I thought so too. To glide from one wall to the other. The Anemo emblem of wind can be seen on many items, including the crest of the Knights of Favonius, the city's protecting chapter. Mm -hmm. The elements influence everything, from unique talents to the appearance of the characters, even their personality. In most cultures, water symbolized the body thus emotions. Hydro, or water characters, in Genshin Impact were designed to look soft, quiet, and empathetic. Okay. They feature big, bright eyes and soft facial expressions. That's smart. Their animations are graceful and flowy. And see, like, see how they do and... this? Like, she doesn't really have cat ears, but if you want to imagine it, you can. That's a smart little subtle thing that they, they put in the game. Soft facial expressions. Their animations are graceful and flowy. Pyros, on the other hand, look passionate and determined, and are a little more spicy with their personalities. 
To solve the challenging issue of several cultural influences and references all mixed together, MiHoYo used the elemental system to bring everything together into a single cohesive world. That's interesting. The seven yeah. elements used feel distinct enough for the player to feel compelled to keep exploring, but they are similar enough to make Teviat into something original. Uh, uh, character design. All right. Okay. Character design is the bread and butter of Genshin Impact. As a free-to-play yeah, sure game is. of such quality, Genshin Impact Mainly relies the on bread. the gotcha system to turn a profit. Yep. The characters are the most desired type of content in the game, and much of the storytelling revolves around them. In addition, perfecting their appearance was the key element in order to achieve the desired anime style. Oh, that's absolutely true. Like, I don't know how many times like I ever make a comment. Like, I said, um, fucking, this is on Twitter. I went and I said, where is, where's Twitter? I see if I find you guys what this is. Uh, I, I don't know where it is. Anyway, I said anybody who had Makima as a profile picture is a simp. A everybody knows that's true, right? I mean, any it's not anybody, any dude that has her as a pro is a fucking simp. And I remember there were some fucking Genshin Impact profile pictures that took fucking great offense to this. And that's how much people like the characters, though, is they have this, like, this is their profile picture, that this is who they are. Special attention was given to the shaders of the characters to ensure an authentic anime look. Mm -hmm. They hand-painted shadow masks specifically for the face, which they can later adjust automatically based on the direction of light. The position of the shadow can be artificially set based on the material settings, light intensity, and even mesh curvature. The color in the darkest areas can also be controlled by the color of the environment and at the artist's preference. Oh As a result, God. the team spent copious amounts of time perfecting the concepts and making Holy sure that they not shit. only fit within the world, but also revealed critical details about the nature of the game. Each character features a complex set That's all of past, them? present, and future interactions with Holy the world of shit. Tevye. Each character has unique features and animations that distinguish them from the other characters. It is these core features that the team uses as guiding principles for the character design. In an installment of their developer notes series, MiHoYo revealed oh, much shit. of their thought process behind the creation of a character named Xiao. They drew uh -huh. inspiration from folk legends and religious stories and blended influences from Taoist deities ancient Chinese spirits, Buddhist guardians, and mythological creatures. This okay. result was a rich character with a unique set of values, drives, and personality traits. His outfit reflects a young, competent warrior that moves swiftly like the wind, which is his corresponding element. His accessories are all rooted in ancient Chinese tradition. Is there like any character in Genshin Impact that's just like a big, hairy, muscly man? No. Okay. So they have fat people, but they don't have... Yeah, all right. That's I, I see how it is. Yeah, only oh, yeah, only NPCs. Okay, I got it. Not yet. Yeah, they need to add one of those. The mask he wears in combat draws from Chinese exorcism masks. He wears a Vajra, if I'm saying that right, at the neck and sensor at the waist. Two items ritualistically used to fight evil. Another great example of character design is Zhongli, the current vessel of the geogod Morax. He features a long ponytail, a deeply rooted Chinese symbol of social status. Okay. He has the scales on either side of his robe, which represent the emperor's power and adaptability. His design contains a lot of patterning, references to the 12 symbols of sovereignty introduced in the Zhao dynasty, Jesus, exclusively worn by this. the emperor. Holy Barring a few shit. characters, Genshin's character design rarely features actual armor, despite all playable characters being fighters. The focus on the design leans why. more on the visual appeal rather than practical considerations. Yeah, I Most bet, outfits I bet that's revolve true. around a predominant color, which generally signifies the element associated with that character. That color is then paired with shades of white or black, then a few splashes of accent color are added for more visual interest. The accessories are what sets most of their designs apart. These accessories mostly fit within a certain theme related to their nationality. Mondstadt characters have more dagger-like triangular shapes as embellishments with more belts. In contrast, the clothing of Liu Wei features plenty of Chinese knotting, thick cords, and tassels. Each elemental affiliation is also reflected in the character's movements. Wind characters feature quick movements that end in a slow, controlled manner. They are as swift as the wind, but retain their gracefulness with every attack. That's impressive. Geo, or Earth characters... Like, I mean, you gotta admit, like, they put a lot of fucking thought into this. Like, I didn't know it was this deep at all. Oh my god.
such as Zhongli, feature quick, imposing moves. Their power can be felt through the steady no way that they people attack waste their paycheck move. on it's this game. It's almost like that they stay grounded. In order to further distinguish each character, the developers gave them unique abilities, which come with their own visual effects. These are heavily influenced by their corresponding element, but they retain some individuality and reflect some of the character's backstory. Razor, for example, was presented as an orphan who was raised by wolves. As a result, his oh, this elemental is all right. burst and VFX yeah, shows character. a wolf spirit slaying What's his a enemies. girl? Barbara, oh. one of my favorite characters, her ability shows a colorful burst of magical notes telling of her habit of humming all over Mondstadt. All of these guy? complex okay. elements of culture, inspired You're design, good. and technical art prowess are all perfectly blended together to create one cohesive, beautiful piece of art. That's impressive, so, yeah, man. Genshin Holy Impact's shit. pretty cool. Yeah, I I'm gonna have to say, I mean, that that's impressive they put that much work into it. I didn't even really know that it was that deep. I thought that, again, it was just the breath of the wild knockoff and like the you know the style was just because it was easy to make i didn't know it was this much oh my god oh my god that is just crazy they didn't have a bald playable character yet though yeah of course not like it, most of the people that play this game are kids man they don't want to have a bald guy in the game that reminds them of their dad like, they don't want their dad in their game. Like, they play the game to get away from their dad. Okay, get, dad, leave me the fuck alone. I'm trying to play my game. Like, get the fuck away from me. Like, stop. Like, I'm not going to take out the garbage. Yeah, of course that's it. Yeah, 100%. This is a kid's game? A lot of young people play Genshin Impact. Uh, I think so. Obviously, like, it's not like only kids play Genshin Impact. Nah, there's plenty of grown-ass fucking men that play this game, too. But the truth is, it does have a younger audience. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Let me see here. So, dad playing the game? Yeah, yeah. It also, like, that's another thing. It's like a dude comes in and plays this game. He doesn't want to be reminded of the fact that he's fucking bald. Like, that's the last thing he wants to be. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's a big, hairy, greasy, <laughs> smelly man. Yeah. Average age is tectone age, though. Yeah, I guess so. I think this is crazy. Like, I really like this video. This is really well put together. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he do more of these, and I'll watch him out. Yeah, that's it. Riot just released a cinematic for the first time. It's likes past like dislikes past likes. I don't know. I'll look at that maybe if I want. I don't know. We'll see. Tectone is a representation. Yeah, Tectone's the average Genshin player. There you go. Look, Luc yeah, Lucari and Tectone. <laughs> that's the that's the real face behind the player base. Yep, that that's. That's what it is. Uh-huh. 